So with this recipe, I wanted to create something that was pretty forgiving. Um, it's a pretty forgiving soup slash stew recipe uh, that you could use with a variety of leftover vegetables that you may have lying around. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of olive oil, um, just some salt and pepper, a chopped onion. Um, so this is where you can be pretty flexible with what you have lying around. So you could do shallot, um, but definitely I would say some sort of onion or allium uh, just to start off with. For spices, I'm just doing some crushed red pepper, some za'atar, which is a blend of Middle Eastern spices, and I'm just gonna let that cook for about seven minutes or so. So now it's been a few minutes, and they've sauteed for about seven minutes or so, and I have some leftover anchovies so i'm just going to put those in this as well um because i thought it would just add a nice little savoriness to the soup you could at this point you could do tomato paste if that's what you have laying around um it's pretty you know forgiving some chopped garlic just to, you know, add a little punch. So here I'm just trying to show you that my celery is looking a little bit sad, but it's still totally fine. It doesn't smell bad or anything, um, but I really wanted to use it for something. So I'm just using, I'm just going to add it to this soup. If you have a carrot laying around, you could add that in or a potato, you could add that in. Um, yeah, so this is its moment to shine. And just to add something else that will add to the overall soup's flavor is a rind of Parmesan. Um, sometimes I have some left over in the freezer, but I did not this time. So I actually just cut off the rind and I'm going to add that in. You could also do pecorino um, if you have that. What, whatever kind of edible rind you have laying around, you could put that in this soup. So for liquid, I'm just adding about a cup of crushed tomatoes that I had left over so I'm just putting that in here and then later on I'm going to add some more water and yes I'm rinsing out the jar with water as you do or the can
additional liquid, I'm just going to add some water. And I don't measure the amount of water that I put in. I just um, add enough to cover the vegetables by about an inch. And then I'm going to add some rinsed, drained, uh, completely cooked beans. And these are also from the Jovial brand. They're, I think they're called Bor Loti beans, but they're really meaty. And as a substitute, you could do cannellini or great northern beans or something like that. about after about 30 minutes of cooking or so and my heat I always do about a medium heat or medium low heat I never cook anything super high so heat wise that's what I would recommend you don't want anything to burn but not be cooked completely so the result was really good. It was super tasty. I just added some extra parm on top and some cracked black pepper. And I hope you try and make it. Thanks for watching.